The heavens belong to him to their utmost heights, the earth and all that therein is. It lay thus at the very basis of the revelation of God to Israel, that he is the omnipotent person in whose glorious will is found the ultimate account of all that comes to pass. But of course Israel was not permitted to imagine that it was his might alone which made God God, that it was the irresistibleness of his will which constituted his majesty. Israel knew perfectly well that it is not bare strength which exalts a person. Israel found the unapproachable greatness of God not in the mere fact that he has a resistance will, but in the nature of that will which none can resist, shall not the judge of all the earth do right? That was, from the beginning, the sure plea with which every Israelite approached his God. If he was the embodiment of all power, he was also the very impersonation of all that was right, of all that was faithful, of all that was true. Exalted in judgment, the Holy One was sanctified in righteousness. Just and righteous was he who has commanded his testimonies in righteousness and very faithfulness. Those who looked up to him in awe because he was so great, looked up to him in love also because he was so 